Welcome to the VB Toolbox. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you the basics of uh, multiple form interaction, um, specifically adding multiple forms to your project and showing you how to communicate between them. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a new project and I'll just call it multi form and I will select OK that generates a new form for us so the first thing we'll do is add a second form to our project I'm going to go to the solution explorer I'm going to right click on my project and select add windows form and I'll just leave the default name here form 2 and I will select add and now we have two forms to work with When communicating with objects in our application, the important property to take note of is the name property. Uh, this will give us access to the components of the object and methods and uh, all those goodies. Uh, for example, we have uh, form 2 here, um, and of course our main form is form 1. And that's not to be confused with the text property. Okay, the name and the text properties uh, by default are set to the same thing, but they are different. The name property is the one that we communicate with. Let's go ahead and add a button to our main form, Form 1. And I'm going to change the text on the button to um, Show Form 2. Okay and then we will access the click event by double clicking on the form 2 button and from here all we have to do to display form 2 if we start up our application you'll notice that it just shows our main form to show form 2 what I will do is in our uh, button click event I'll say form 2 dot show and now if I run this and click uh, show form 2 I can see my second form and it's now accessible um, so let's go ahead and go back to form 2 and set an interaction um, with our main form form 1 what I'm gonna do is add a text box right about here just select that from your toolbox and what I want to do is when I type in this uh, text box I want it to change the the caption text on our form at the same time of our main form so let's bounce back to our second form and I'm going to double click on the text box and that will generate a text changed event so every time we talk uh, or type into this box um, it will fire this event so what I will do is mirror the text in text box 1 with the uh, form text on our form 1 so let's go ahead and go back to our text changed event and what I will do is type um, form 1 dot text equals text box one dot text and now we can test this to see if it works so I'm going to run my application and I'm going to click show form 2 because I want to see that and there it is popped up now if this is working properly when we type in this box it should interact with form 1 by changing its uh, caption text How about that? Now I can close that form if I want. Um, let's go ahead and add a an exit button to form two. Going to select a button, drop it on my form here. Whoops, make that a little bigger. And I'm just going to set the button text to exit. 
and to generate our click event we will double click on our button and from here all we have to do is say me when you access um, the methods and properties of uh, specifically the methods uh, for an object from itself um, instead of saying you know form one if we're in form one we don't say form one instead we say me so uh, to reference itself form two I say me dot close I want to fire off a close uh, sub here and now form 2 should close when I do this so I'm going to go ahead and test that say so show form 2 now I have an exit button that will close form 2 just like that um, if you want to fire off an event while it's closing or after it's closed what you can do is um, go to if you click in one of the events here uh, we can generate another event for the form um, I don't want the buttons event I want uh, form events let me go back to my main form double click here and that generates a load event but I don't want load I want the closing event so look for form closing all right you can get rid of that first event if you want from here uh, while the form is actually shutting itself down after we click the exit button what if I want to fire something back to my main form um, we can do that so how about we change the color of the form I'm gonna say uh, form one dot back color equals um, I'll just pick Alice blue from the top here see if that's noticeable let's test that and we'll say show form 2 and when I click the exit button it closes the form and launches that event and you notice that the background color uh, changed it's not very distinctive so we could try something like red if we wanted a more dramatic change look at that so we have our basic form interaction down what if we want to change the uh, properties of a control that's on the form well we have to reference the forms control collection um, and then reference that object by name so what we can do is um, for example I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this guy or actually we'll use this instead what I'll do is I want to grab I want to change the properties of this button on form one uh, when I close the form when I close form two so what I will do is look for the name of button of this button it's button one so that's what we need to remember go back to form two and I will say form one dot controls open parentheses and then we call button one by its name and now we should be able to access the properties for button one um, so let's set the back color equals um, what's a color we can try how about uh, dark cyan so if we did this right um, it should change the buttons background property bring that up show form 2 that's still working let's close it we got the information we wanted out of this text box now we'll close it and now um, it successfully referenced button one from form one um, we can open that up and close it as many times as we want so that 
is in a nutshell how you can access objects and the form properties from another form or send uh, messages between them and uh, really perform any interaction that you want. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. And if this was helpful, uh, feel free to share it with anyone that you think it might help. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I look forward to uh, sharing more with you in the future. Bye-bye. Mm,